Hey guys, welcome to this video. Look, I've got something to show you guys. I need you to listen to me. This is actually pretty massive what I've been working on in the last few days. Now, this is Quotely, which is a project that I've been working on for the last few weeks that we made for a client. It's a SaaS, it's an AI powered SaaS, and we basically just created the MVP. I think this looks pretty good, but that's not what I'm showing you in today's video. I'm actually gonna show you how I created all of these SEO pages using sub agents in about 10 minutes. Just before we get into that, let me just mention, if you do have a project that you're interested in building, and you don't wanna go down the standard route of you know hiring a company for six months to three months, you just wanna get a quick MVP out there, Feel free to contact us. There should be a link in the description to contact us, but you can also just email me, incomestreamsurfer at gmail.com. If you do have a project right now, a little bit of space for another project right now or another project or two where we can create an MVP for you at a much faster rate than traditional companies, vibe coding, basically. So how does this all work? Basically, what I've done is, and I'm gonna do this in a really easy way for you all, and you guys can all join in it's open source, there's no payment, no, no bullshit. It's literally just a fully open source system. This is the GitHub repo, please give it a star. If you use it, feel free to fork it, do whatever you want with it, guys. You can even resell this, I don't give a shit. Honestly, just do whatever you want, go make money with it, guys. Please, just the more money you guys make, the better I feel when you actually make money from one of my projects. So what does this do? If I click on here, this is called a GitHub branch, okay? If you put, so if you look here, this is the main branch, right? So if you do git clone and then you brand and you just give this link, it, you will get the main branch. The main branch right now is just the Claude, Claude code base agent orchestration system. That's my RuneScape guys. Sorry, I have to kill the crab. Always kill the crab. The base orchestration system is a coding system for Claude code that uses agents just four very simple agents that I've shown in recent videos that basically allows you to code an entire project in one Claude code context window, right? And this is a new, new thing that I didn't even know about previously. I didn't actually realize that you could use sub agents to preserve context. Now I have a lot more videos coming on that, but what I'm doing right now is I'm creating different sub agent systems. So if you click on the main branch and you press design agent, for example, and we go inside dot Claude, you'll see that this has two new agents. It has header-footer.md and seodesigner.md. Now, what both of these do is they basically do exactly what you can see on the screen. They create all of these pages based off the project that you have created. Now, there is a slight change I want to make to this system. Right now, it creates, 10, uh, it creates five articles per pillar, and there are 10 pillars. I'm gonna change that to 10 articles per pillar and have five pillars. No matter what, it will be 50 articles. So what does this actually do? If you have a system, an application, an app, a SaaS, even just the Next.js website, WordPress website, it doesn't actually matter. You can basically import this project into your project and create all of the SEO pages that you need for that project. Okay, so let's see if I can show this off. Let's just find one of my Rolls Royce websites. There should be enough of these, enough of these feckers on my computer by now. And we'll do a new window so you guys know that I'm not cheating. And we'll just drag this over like this. And then we should have some kind of website. I don't like the fact that this says Claude Flow. Probably not going to use that one just because Claude Flow. I just don't. Don't really rate Claude Flow, I'm not gonna lie. So uh Rolls Royce. I need a Rolls Royce example website. Let's see. This might be good. Okay, guys, so I finally found one that took way longer than I was expecting. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how this works. So we have a project right now, and all we have is you know all of the base Next.js files, right? There should also be a dot Claude file here, but we can't see it. So I'll show you how this works. Let's say it, it doesn't even matter if you made the project with Claude code, by the way, I'm going to show you everything. So let's just CD inside here. Where is this Claude 4.5? And then let's do an LS. So CD my next app. And then let's do Claude. Okay. And then let's just do memory and see if there's anything in project memory. No. Okay. So sometimes you will have something in project memory. Okay. The way to get around that, just so you know, 
is like it says in the GitHub, or it should say in the GitHub. I'm not sure if I actually pushed it. Yeah. What you say is, can you temporarily move your memory, Claude.md, into a folder called Don't Look In Here and start a new branch called SEO Landing Pages? So if I do slash agents right now, there are no agents either. So let's just see how this works. So I'm going to say, please get this repo into the root directory of this project, i.e. the directory I am in now, and then paste. So I want that specific branch as well, but it should work that out because Claude code is just intelligent, right? So yeah, that's not actually the right branch. Yes, move the files up one level and get the branch I sent you. I don't know why here, just completely just didn't do what I wanted at all there, but that's fine. I guess the prompt wasn't very good. Okay, let's see. Copied all the files. Okay, so now if we do slash memory, we should see project memory. Still don't have anything. Okay, interesting. Let's do slash memory and go to, there we go. So we have the cloud.md file right here. Perfect. And then what we, we what you actually have to do is you have to, if I do slash agent, you'll see there's no agent. You have to do control C out and then do Claude dash C, right? Even better if you want, if we just do Claude dash dash dangerously, dangerously skip permissions dash C. Perfect. And I'm going to say uh, slash agents, right? And now you can see we have these agents and I'm going to say, do my SEO, please. Right, that's all you have to say. And then it's literally going to go away and create 50 pages. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to let this run the entire time, just so you know, guys, because this does take a little bit of time. I'm not going to lie. Also, another thing you may have to, after, open it up on Visual Studio Code, open this little Claude Code extension and fix the implementation because sometimes the implementation isn't correct, okay? But you can see the end result on um, this website here, right, which is Quotely. Really, really interesting. Just bags and bags and bags of content, and you'll see that it will create it so quickly. Now, this is also agnostic. It doesn't have to be for a SaaS. This isn't for, for a SaaS. This is actually a service-based website on Next.js. You could do it on WordPress if you have WordPress CLI set up. This works on basically any website, and it will just come. It will just do fifty to one hundred, or at the moment, fifty pages on your website that will hopefully rank on Google. Okay, so you can see this process. If you guys are curious, the way that it works is within the two hundred thousand context, it does all this. So. It does research on what the business is. It then creates pillars. So pillar one, Rolls Royce wedding car, hire Campania, complete guide, how to choose the worth, the perfect wedding car in Naples, blah, 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 right? And now the really special part, each pillar, so pillar one, pillar two, pillar three, pillar four, pillar five, pillar six, this is just a predefined flow that I made. You guys can make whatever fucking flow you guys want. I don't want you to just use what I'm giving you. Fork the repo. Make your own agents, get creative, guys, because look at the power of this. Hands off the wheel, in five to ten minutes, I'm going to have an extra contextually generated pages with the same design as my website. Now, this isn't the best example because it's just a very simple, um, what's it called? Very simple, no led Joe Rolls Royce uh, website that I've made a million times, but... It works with SAS. It will work with WordPress if you get your WordPress kind of project into Docker or CLI or whatever lo running locally. And yeah, I just honestly, guys, I absolutely love this. Subagents are so powerful. I was so, so, so wrong. I was so wrong about subagents. They are so damn good. And you can run them at the same time. How insane is that? I'm running 10 of these agents simultaneously. Each one is generating five pages at a time. You can do 10 pages at a time. There's no limit. It just keeps going. Now, the really crazy thing, and this is just a theory that I've got. I'm just playing with this theory in my head right now. But, like, is there actually any limit to this other than tokens? Like, could we have 200,000 of these running at the same time? That That's my next question. Like, and wh wh where's the limit with that? Obviously, you've got to pay for tokens. But if, you, if, if money's nothing, like, if you don't have to worry about money... Where's the limit with this? Like, how many Claude's does it... Like, how many can you use at once? It's crazy. Like, how are they paying for this? Like, how is Anthropic 
even powering this. Like, surely this can't be making them money. Guys, if this isn't a game changer, I don't know what is, honestly. This took me 20 minutes to make. Just be wary that you have to close Claude code once you add a new agent, right? But as you're coding, what you can do as well is what I've been doing, or what I did yesterday with this particular project, is first of all, I did the, the design agent, and then I was like, oh, wait, shit, I need to... I need to add everything to my header, right? So then what I did was I retrospectively created a header slash footer agent, right? And just said to Claude Code, make me a header footer agent. And then to preserve the context of the conversation, I don't know if I can find this conversation. No, I, th this is the conversation where I made the bot. Um, to preserve the context of the 200,000 of the Claude Code, I then copied the repo or re-cloned the repo back into the project, right? And then said, and then closed Claude code, open Claude code, ran slash agents, saw that it had the new header footer agent, and then ran it and just said, do my header footer. And it just did exactly that within the 200,000 context window, right? So this is what happens. This Maybe we can just have a little look here. So we can see here, Metadata, Rolls-Royce versus Bentley page. So this is a Rolls-Royce versus Bentley page. Maybe we can get a little bit of context on what this is going to look like. So W3 schools, try it. I don't know if this can do React. I think this is just HTML, but let's see. Maybe it can do React. No, it can't. Okay, so I don't think I can actually show you guys, but just look at this. Look at all this fucking content that is created. I'm not pausing, guys. This video, I started recording it two minutes ago. Or however long, how long has this video been? Literally eight minutes. Like, it's created all of this. How insane is that? Come on, that's just crazy. Like, what the hell? Now, the really cool thing is, and I'm just kind of rambling at this point, but if, if the right person is listening, this could be worth millions to the right person. You can use the Claude Code SDK. What does that mean? It means that you don't have to do all of this inside Claude Code itself, but you can actually do it inside the API using the Claude Code SDK, which means you can do what I'm showing you right now, this in the API, and then you could give this as a response to a user, and you can make an entire SaaS built around this principle, right? It doesn't have to be SEO, it can be whatever. SEO is just an example. There are literally millions upon billions of examples you could use this for. Look at it go. It's just nonstop. Crazy, honestly. Guys, I'm probably going to leave the video there because this is just kind of like a very quick introduction to this concept. I'm obsessed with sub-agents. Now I know how they work and what you can do with them. And yeah, I'll, I'll leave the video there. I'm going to make a few more videos probably about the same concept and also about another thing that I've been um, cooking with agents and sub agents. If you guys are liking this, please feel free to let me know in the comments so I know to keep going with this. And also check out the school community as well. And yeah, like if you're kind of interested in having one of these projects built for you, if you've got a SaaS idea and you're just not feeling up to it and you just want to get an MVP out there as quickly as possible, contact us, incomestreamsurfer at gmail.com and we'll get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, as usual, you're an absolute legend, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.